All right, we've reached our penultimate round. This week we're at Spa. We've got a long lap, but it's nothing compared to what we're gonna do next week at Le Mans. But anyways, coming into one, your braking marker is around the 100 on the left. Take a bit of a late turn in an apex just to focus on the exit speed. Now into one of the most famous corners in racing. You want to attack the curve a lot on the inside and then miss this curve on the right and then a final cut on the exit. Now I get pretty close to the red winner on the straight but I found running a final drive doesn't get you any more top speed. This is also where running low arrow can make a big difference. Your breaking point here is just before the start of the curving on the left. I'm coming down to third. Treat this a bit like chicane. You want to keep to the inside on the exit. This is to set yourself up for the final corner which you can short shift to fourth. Then you again want to break just before the start of the curving on the left. I'm down to third here. You have to do a lot of coasting in this corner and wait till you can see the exit before you get on throttle. Then as you pass the cones or hit the rev limiter, back on the brakes and hold third through it. You have to be careful because the new layout does not have the runoff in the exit. Now here your breaking point is the black flag indicator on the right. I dropped down two gears here, but you may be better off trying to hold it in fifth to keep a higher entry speed. And for the third time, your braking marker is the start of the curving on the left side. I hold fourth through here, your objective is again to take this like a chicane to focus on the exit of the second leg. Once again, there's no runoff on the exit, which is why I was so uncertain getting on throttle. And for the fourth and final time, you're braking at the curving on the left. This corner is actually downhill, so the car is pretty unstable, and I push it all the way out to the sand on the exit. And finally, before the back straight, this corner can be taken flat with the right line. Obviously, this whole back straight section is just about keeping the wheel as straight as you can. This is another part of the track where running low arrow may benefit you. This circuit's very important at finding the middle ground between high arrow and low arrow. Now this last section is really important or else you have to do that whole two minute lap again. I'm braking just after the 150 on the left and I'm coming all the way down to second gear. Keep to the right on this first leg and set yourself up for a good exit out of the final corner. After all that, that's a lap here at Spa. Good luck this week. Next week we'll be having our finale at Le Mans.